Good evening and welcome to Hungary Report, starting of public media and once foreign language news hour. I'm Cenga Gabriela Iboya with today's news from Hungary in the Carpathian Basin. Let's begin. Emmanuel Macron admitted that Christian Hungary was showing Europe the way. This was how the political scientist Tomás Lancy evaluated Macron's speech that had been leaked recently. The French president, according to articles in the press, analyzed the situation in Europe before his French ambassadors, acknowledging that Western Europe was in crisis and that Hungary, under the leadership of Viktor Orbán, was at the forefront of renewing European civilization. Hungarian news portal Origo wrote that Emmanuel Macron was rather self-critical in his speech to French ambassadors. The French president openly discussed the decline of the Western world order, as well as how Europe has now lost its influence in global politics and economy. According to the report, Emmanuel Macron said that Hungary, led by Viktor Orbán, is at the forefront of renewing European civilization. According to the French president, the political events in Hungary should be regarded with the greatest respect. These carry a cultural and civilizational vitality, with which the French president disagrees but finds extremely inspiring. He highlighted that technically there is only one projection of civilization in the European Union trying to change this crisis, and it is coming from Hungary. Political scientist Tamás Lánci discussed in Kossuth Radio's Sunday program that it was a serious loss of prestige for France to be unable to provide a vision of the future, while Emmanuel Macron acknowledged Christian Hungary was leading the way. According to Tamás Lánci, Western Europe is only stumbling, while Eastern Europe has responded well, for example, to the migration crisis. The political scientist stressed that Western states need to change. If they would be willing to start a dialogue with Eastern Europe and would be willing to even look for new solutions, not just keep repeating the same old thing, then we would be one step closer to the solution, which is to bring Europe back from this decline, Tomás Lanzi explained. Back in March, the French president wrote that he would like to begin discussions about reforming the European Union. Among other things, he called for a review of the Schengen area, so that only those countries who really do enough for border protection could remain in it. Prime Minister Viktor Orbán responded that the Macron proposal could be the basis for a serious European debate. They easily disarmed an American World War II bomb found in the yard of a high school in Buda a few days ago. In just over an hour, the bomb experts were finished. The whole operation, of course, took longer, as nearly 700 flats had to be emptied and traffic diverted before the two igniters were removed from the 250-kilogram bomb. A police line took off at exactly 8 in the morning in order to empty out the areas closest to the bomb site. 2,000 people had to evacuate their homes. Police rang everyone's doorbell in order to be sure that no one stays within the danger zone. Restaurants and shops didn't even open. They notified us early on, and we've already seen similar situations, but I'm hopeful everything will be all right. I'm not afraid, this woman said. Those who couldn't leave their homes on their own were helped by ambulance stuff. And those who didn't have anywhere to go could go to the Garden Yegeza Primary School close by. They received us with such love and consideration. I was very impressed, this local said. In the meantime, the streets were also closed off. The traffic was stopped and the trams and buses were also diverted. Cameras were used to monitor the area. Mori Zygmunt Square and its surroundings was completely emptied, allowing experts to begin disarming the 250kg bomb. The bomb was dropped on the courtyard of St. Margaret High School during World War II. It was buried three meters deep until a few days ago it was pulled out of the ground by an excavator. After the impact, it deformed in such a way that it was even more difficult to remove. Now it's safe. The detonation devices are visible on the side, and the bomb body itself will be transported to the central collection point of the Hungarian army, the leader of the operation explained. Approximately 2,500 explosive devices are found in Hungary every year, most of them in the capital. A lot of them are small, but some, like the one they found in the city hall last July, are heavyweights, such as this. 
The new school year began smoothly in both universities and colleges. This was discussed by the State Secretary of the Ministry of Innovation and Technology. Thomas Schoner highlighted that 4,500 more people are studying in higher education compared to last year. He said the government's aim is for students to study in more competitive universities so that their diplomas will be even more appreciated. Trends and figures indicate that the government is on the right track in its higher education policy. The results are also acknowledged in the report published recently by the OECD. The increasing proportion of graduates in Hungary is especially highlighted in the report. A new joint European police operation will take place on the roads. It will begin tomorrow and last until Sunday. They will specifically be looking for those using their mobile phones while driving. No one should talk on their phones without it being on loudspeaker or write text messages, emails or make live feeds while driving. This footage from last May shows the moment before the accident. The driver is filming himself and is then reading the comments sent on the live feed. He then tries to overtake another car, going into the other lane, where a semi-trailer is coming. The footage ends here. Nine people died in the accident at Zegled Bercel. This includes a married couple who left behind six children. Statistics show that there are more and more of these sorts of accidents on the roads. Many are on their phones, surf on the internet, chat or send SMS while they are driving. Experts say reading an SMS distracts the driver for up to three or four seconds. If someone is looking at his or her phone while driving, they are practically driving blind. If we are not looking at the road, but are paying attention to something else, then we are practically unable to process what's happening on the road ahead of us, this expert said. And this is very likely to increase the risk of accidents. That's why the police will begin a coordinated nationwide road check on Monday. My colleagues will primarily focus on those who are on their phones while driving. But texting, making live feeds or taking and uploading selfies on various social media sites while sitting behind the steering wheel will also be monitored just the same, with a high priority. Hereby, drivers are reminded to refrain from all these activities, not only during the police operation, but whenever they drive. The press service manager of the Hungarian National Police Headquarters said. Police would also like to call the attention of people who are in the traffic to call number 112 if they see such cases. The heating season has begun in several cities, including Budapest. There are district heated flats where the heaters are hot, but there are also places where the common representative has not yet asked for the heating to be turned on. In any case, the service providers are ready for the winter. In the second half of next week, nearly morning hours will be very chilly and cold. We might even get slight frosts. A great destination for autumn strolls in the forest of Bakon is the Benedictine Monastery in the area. The first monks arrived here over a thousand years ago and have kept an active community ever since. Their story and way of life can be seen in the interactive exhibition located in the visitor's center. The gorgeous arboretum located on the grounds is also well worth a visit. Another exhibition has been opened within the framework of the Ars Sacra Festival in Buda Castle's Mary Magdalene Tower. Artist Victor Kish works in sacred themes seek to find ways to bring modern art tools and expression to the service of Christianity. The exhibition will be open till the 30th of September. And that's all for now, but don't forget you can catch Hunger Reports every night after 11pm news and online as always. Do stick around and watch our German, Russian and Chinese language news. Thank you for watching and have a lovely evening.